Hello, fellow brawlers, it's time for a breakdown on BB, the newest brawler coming to Brawl Stars. Now, as you guys know, Brawl Talk was recently released and Supercell gave me early access to the video so I could actually, like, analyze every detail of BB for you. We'll be starting off with the more obvious mechanics that most people will mention and work our way into the more complex mechanics that I basically was only able to figure out because I scrubbed through the footage. Uh, frame by frame. And then of course you're gonna want to subscribe for more details on BB as soon as Supercell lets me actually like release my own footage for you guys. Now starting off we know that BB was maxed in the footage because of the green or the star in her uh, green circle underneath her. That means that her 5880 health is on the higher end of the stats tying her actually with Daryl for the sixth highest health in the game. Now, to give you a better idea of what that means, Poco is at 5,320, Pam is at 6,020. So she's like, she's got a decent amount of survivability, but she's still actually on the lower end of the scale in comparison to other short range brawlers like El Primo, Bull, uh, and Rosa. Still against some long range squishy brawlers, I think she's going to be very strong. We'll talk more about that now. Regarding her attack range, I'm not able to accurately measure it using the ruler that I actually made for the Brawlympics because that ruler is actually scaled specifically for the device that I'm using and they seem to actually have zoomed in on the gameplay to hide her super buttons. But my best estimate is either three and one thirds tiles or three and two thirds tiles. Now for reference, that's uh, Rose's attack is three and two thirds tiles long and El Primo's attack is three tiles long. So BB has a very, very short range in comparison to all of the other brawlers in the game. Now to make up for that, her, her attack really packs a massive punch. In fact, if you're watching this gameplay, it looks like five or six punches. <laughs> Each attack deals 1,960 damage over a massive area, so she could actually be really strong in team fights. Now for reference, both Rosa and El Primo deal 2,016 damage with one attack, but only if all of their punches actually hit. With BB, it's either you hit or you miss, and it's like all of Rosa's or Punches El Primo's attacking you right in the face in, a, in an instant. Now, if you're paying really close attention, you'll see that she actually does have a little bit of a warm up to her attack, meaning that she doesn't like unload her shot immediately like Brock does. Uh, if you compare her attack to Frank's, you'll actually see that the delay is the same as his, except that she can actually still move around while preparing her swing for her bat. Now, one minor detail is that it might actually look like in this clip that her delay is slightly longer than Frank's. This is actually because Danny didn't attack immediately after the first attack, like I did when I was recording Frank's gameplay. I double checked and triple checked and they actually do have the same delay. Once again though, she's actually not limited by being frozen in place. She can actually move toward a brawler or move away from a brawler unlike Frank. So that's actually, um, she's, she's got a leg up on Frank in that, way, in that way. Now I did a lot of measuring for her reload speed and typically how I like to measure reload speeds is I like to see them unload three quick attacks and then wait and see how long it takes for all three to actually reload. Um, but they actually didn't give like great, there wasn't good footage in the actual gameplay to, to see it that accurately. But so after my best testing and timing it, I think that her reload speed is 1.5 seconds or 1.6 seconds, which is right around where El Primo and Nita are. I'll make sure and refine that and give you a more accurate uh, number in a future video, but this is actually a super fast reload speed, and she might even have the fastest reload speed in the game, which, given her attack potential, that's that's actually really, really a big deal. Okay, guys, now let's talk about BB's pushback mechanic that she has, because it's actually like a really big deal. Now based off of the gameplay and what they actually said in the Brawl Talk, this is actually how it works. When BB has all three ammos charged up, she starts to actually charge her uh, special ability. Now after two seconds of charging that special ability, it makes it so that her next swing with her bat, or with her regular attack, will push targets away. And there is a huge reason why this ability is a massive deal. First off, based on this video, it actually looks like the knockback is roughly four or five tiles long and that is a massive knockback in fact it's it's basically the equivalent of getting pushed back by four or five Shelly supers even though like nobody could even possibly withstand five Shelly supers but to give you another idea Tara's radius for her super is actually four tiles so we're actually looking at like the pushback ability of like Terra's super, but it's like in reverse, except that I guess you can kind of technically push brawlers back with her super if you 
throw it behind them. Anyway, whatever, you guys get the idea. Now the next reason why this is actually so important is because her special ability actually resets animations. Now if you don't know what that means, you're probably like, ah, oh, that's not a big deal, but um, it's a big deal. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this clip right here. Now, right before BB actually hits these three brawlers with her special knockback bat, Brock actually starts firing a super and He's actually able to throw a shoot out three rockets from his super before she hits him with the knockback. The knockback actually resets his animation, so he, he stops firing his super. He's not able to finish off his super, and that actually effectively wastes his super with BB's regular attack. Every other brawler in the game requires that like is able to actually like stop animations. They require their own super to stop an enemy player's super. She can do it with a regular attack, and that's that's going to make her a huge counter to Frank's super. It's also going to make brawlers like Brock, Rico, Colt uh, all have to be wary about like using their supers on her because she can reset their, her, their animations. Also brawlers like Pam, who has a long regular attack animation, she's going to like be able to effectively waste one of Pam's attacks. But that's not all guys. This knockback will very likely make it so that players will actually drop the ball in Brawl Ball. So she'll like be one of the strongest defenders in that mode. She'll also be able to push enemy siege bots away from her Ike turret if it's right there. And she'll also be able to push enemy players into the smoke and showdown. And if she happens to get snuck up on by like a bull or a Shelly or a Leon, she can actually use this knockback to push them away from her. Ah, that's... That's insane! Now, there, there is actually a little bit of a downside to this ability. She has a very short range, which means that most of the brawlers are actually going to benefit from keeping their distance from her, and if she actually knocks those brawlers too far back, it will be difficult for her to, like, take them out or even, like, chase them down. Uh, there will be, obviously, some situations where it be, will be more beneficial for her to waste an attack so that she doesn't knock the players back before, like, actually attacking them. However, I do actually think that the knockback will actually become more beneficial mo most of the time, simply because it does actually reset animations. Okay, so now a lot of people are going to be asking the question, wait, so is this, like, knockback her star power, or is it, like, a... a special ability. I don't think that this is her star power. Frank specifically said that this was something extra that the other brawlers uh, wouldn't, that don't have. Plus, I also have a pretty good idea of what uh, her star power actually is. Now, when I'm analyzing the brawl talks and stuff like that, one of the things that I always do is I look at their, the brawlers like specific movement speed. And while I was analyzing BB's movement speed, I actually had a really difficult time figuring out what it was. Most of the time, I was pretty sure that it was the same as Bulls or El Primo's and the other tanks like Rosa, but if you actually look at this clip, she looks like she's moving way faster. And if you start paying close attention to her movement speed and when she does and does not have her knockback charged up, you can tell that when it's fully charged, she actually moves like way faster than than when she doesn't have it charged up and I think that this is actually her star power and once I'm actually allowed to I'll do some actual measurements to determine how fast she actually moves with her star power and uh, give you those details in an actual uh, BB Brawlympics video. Now it's time to talk about her super. Now I've scrubbed through all of the BB footage to see if there was any hint of what her super might be or how quickly it charges. I couldn't find any. There was one tiny clip where her super wasn't charged up but it with in that time, uh, Danny only hit throughout one attack and it didn't charge up, so I, I, I don't know how quickly it charges up. Now, there was nothing in the gameplay that gave us an actual glimpse of what her super could possibly be. I looked at every single frame and there was nothing there. However, I do have a really good guess. Now, if you look at the images of her artwork, you'll see that BB actually has these, these earrings shaped like a plus, and you'll also see a couple of pins on her jacket, and one of them is what looks like a super button with a heart on it. Now, if you look at a plus and a heart, like, I'm thinking health, like HP, right? Now, this is not confirmed, but I do not think it would be a bad guess to say that her super is some sort of supportive heal. My guess is it's something like a juice box or some, like, diner food that she eats or drinks or whatever to heal up really, really quickly, making her stronger in close range combat. However, I also think that it might be something like pulling out some sort of a boom box that plays healing music in an area around her for her and her teammates to, to get a little bit of heal, maybe even like 
uh, increase morale and give them faster movement speed or something like that. Once again, though, you're not going to want to forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my sneak peek video on her. I'm actually going to start doing a Brawlympics video with each new brawler where I'll actually put BB through each of the Brawlympics events and compare her to every other brawler in the game for those events, uh, and you you probably won't get a more thorough analysis of her stats and mechanics anywhere else. Now, based off of these stats and the gameplay from the Brawl Talk, I think that BB is definitely going to be a strong brawler. I, I don't think she's going to be as strong as Rosa was when Rosa was first released, um, or Leon for that. Maybe around the Leon status, maybe not. She, I don't think she's going to need a nerf, but, but we'll see. A lot of that is actually going to depend on how strong her super is, and once I've been able to actually play her on the developer build, and Supercell will let me actually talk to you about that, then I'll give you guys more of my opinions on her. Now, BB wasn't the only thing that was uncovered in the Brawl Talk. They're also going to be releasing a new environment, and that certainly fits along the 60s diner theme that they've been hinting toward. You can actually see this, this image right here that uh, Lex, big shout out to Lex for actually stitching this together from the Brawl Talk, showing the entirety of this map. It looks really cool, and it does in fact look like Bull's Diner, which is also... I like that, that's that's really cool. There's also a Hot Rod Brock, Road Rage Carl, Bake Sale Barley, and a Maple Barley all coming, and I'm really curious which of these four skins you're most excited for and which ones you're least excited for, so uh, drop that in the comment section below. Number one, most excited. Number two, least excited. Anyways, guys, we've got some really cool things in store for us with this next update, and uh, this Brawl Talk seems to be pretty legit. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I certainly love these types of videos and I think that you guys do too. So for now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.